Hi friends, it's Velvet. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to be using some card catalog cards to decoupage napkins on. And here you see I'm showing you the kind of glue that I, I use. Um, so what I de uh, generally do is I will water down, really water down, um, some just PVA glue or decoupage glue. Uh, peel the backing off of the um, napkins and then um, here I'm just showing you the cards, the card catalog cards that I have that I'm using and I'm just trying to decide how I want this to look. So you want to really load up um, whatever media you're using. If, if, if you have some card catalog cards, that's great. If you're using index cards, that's fine too. So now I'm just trying to line this up so that um, I like the placement of those beautiful flowers on that napkin. So then I'll go in and put another layer on top of the napkin of that watered down PVA glue. And I do this because it will go through the napkin and give it extra coverage. So then you wanna just kinda tear around the card and you know make it as close as you can to that to that card and then you'll have less to remove later on what you could do is um, you know cut the, cut the um, napkin to size ahead of time so that's how the first one's going to look and then once it's dry I'll take the um, the rest of that napkin off so let's just try another one just trying to decide which side to use because that writing will show through um, on a napkin with a white background or even like a light color background. The writing will show through and that's what I wanted it to do. So I'm just trying to clean up my workspace here because I am a messy, messy crafter as I'm sure you know. So apologies if there's a weird noise um, over my voiceover here. I am trying out some software and I do not have a plug-in microphone yet. So I'm just using my um, laptop microphone, which is not ideal, obviously. So I apologize in advance if it sounds weird. By the time I do my next uh, voiceover, I will have some software and a microphone that works. And of course, now that I've started my full-time job, I have told myself that the first thing I'm going to spend some money on is a new laptop because mine is actually seven years old. And it was in the house during the fire and I didn't come back and get it until the next day. So it already had some issues. So it's time, it is time. So there's the second one done. I'm just cleaning up my um, craft mat here. The beauty of watering down this PVA glue is that you can cap it and it will last for a long time. And you can just add to it as you need it. So this is another napkin that I bought. Um, I had gone shopping at our local grocery store. If you're in the Northeast, you probably have heard of it. Wegmans. They're actually based here um, where I live. And I happened to be kind of walking through the aisles and they had some of their summer stuff on sale. And I saw these two packs of gorgeous napkins and I had to have them. Even though I promised I would not get any more napkins, I had to do it. <laughs> so now you, you saw me um, taking the other two plies off. Here I got smart and decided to cut this napkin <laughs> at least in half so that it would be a little easier to deal with. You can always use a water brush to rip around things that you want to cut off. And that's typically what I usually do, but for some reason I opted to do it this way. I don't know. 
I think I was just so excited when I got home with these napkins that I just had to get busy with them. And um, yeah, this is this is what I chose to do. I of course had to get this one because of the sunflowers. Now I'm not um, terribly worried about wrinkles in my projects because I like kind of a shabby, grungy, you know, that kind of look and I think the wrinkles give it some character. If you're, um, if you're really worried about the wrinkles, you can, you know, cut cut your napkin to size and then just go from one side to the other very slowly in placing it down onto your substrate. I think I end up doing five of these card catalog decoupage projects. And what I intend to use these for is um, I'll make pockets out of them in, in the junk journals. So, you know, I'll glue around the three sides and just leave the top open or the side, however, you know, however they actually go down onto the page. Now this, I think on this one, it didn't quite go to the bottom, but that's okay. You can always put like, some washi tape or something there, put a little paint on it, um, you know, decorate the bottom a little bit if you want to. Oh, I just kicked my dog. <laughs> <clears throat> Of course, everything is sticking to me. So those are the two that are vertical rather than horizontal. Actually, I think I did three vertical and two horizontal. I think after I got done with this video, I also did a couple more, I can't remember. So I started my new job this week, the full-time job at the um, credit union. I'm doing internal communications. Um, this credit union, it happens to be among the great places to work in New York and um, nationwide. There's won a, a number of awards for that. And I feel very fortunate that I managed to get in there. It's um, you should see the department <laughs> for employee communications and HR and organizational development. It is just, it's remarkable, quite frankly. It's, it's a good place to work. <laughs> um, but this past week, I, I spent the whole week training, uh, you know, doing your compliance stuff that you have to do every year at whatever job. I, of course, have had already done it for the Alzheimer's Association, but you know, every little place is a little different and I'm learning a little bit about banking and fraud and oh, all kinds of things. I, honest to God, I have a newfound appreciation for bank tellers, truly. And you know, loan officers and everyone else who works in the actual front line of banks because it is just incredible what you have to know. So here I'm just showing you how the back looks on this. This is uh, some Tim Holtz um, decoupage paper, uh, like tissue paper. So it's a little bit thicker than the napkin. Um, but it goes on so beautifully and look at that paper. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, if I choose to do another like a floral journal these will definitely be a big part of that. I will definitely use these. Now what I could do is I could affix something to the back of these cards and make them journaling cards. 
Um, but I think I'd like to keep them as is because I would be using them as pockets. Apologies if you can hear my computer fan. I am so sorry. This is just happen this happens to be how I have to do it right now. <clears throat> now of course you can see that I accidentally put the tissue on the other card. Because that's how I roll. Alright, so it looks like I actually did no, I, okay, I guess I did oh I did six. Okay. I just think they turned out so pretty. And I think in another video I end up um, decorating them. Or I may have done that off camera. But this is the end result. And once they dry, I'm going to, you know, peel around them. 